Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Axure RP tutorial series. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a rotating carousel, banner, or content slideshow. You can configure it to advance automatically or with the click of a button. We'll start out by creating a dynamic panel with multiple states. Each state will hold the content for a different slide in the slideshow. Drag a rectangle widget onto the canvas from the Libraries pane and set its fill color to blue with the Fill Color selector in the Style pane or Style toolbar. This rectangle will be the content in our first slide. Right-click the rectangle and select Create Dynamic Panel in the Context menu. This will create a new dynamic panel widget and place the rectangle in the panel's first state. Now let's create the slideshow's second slide. Double-click the dynamic panel to edit its states. At the top of the canvas, click State 1. At the bottom of the drop-down that appears, click Add State to create State 2. Drag a rectangle widget onto the State 2 canvas, drop it at 00, zero and set its fill color to red. Finally, we'll repeat these steps to create the slideshow's third slide. I'm going to make the third rectangle green. It's worth noting here that when you make your own slideshows, you can place any widgets you like in the dynamic panel states. OK, now we're ready to add some interactivity. Let's start by making the slideshow rotate automatically. Click Close at the top right of the canvas or press Escape to close the dynamic panel state. And then click New Interaction in the Interactions pane. Select the Page Loaded event in the list that appears, and then select the Set Panel State action. Select the dynamic panel in the Target dropdown. In the State dropdown, select Next and check the box for Wrap from Last to First. This will allow the dynamic panel to go back to its first state after the last state has been reached. Under Animate In, select Slide Left. Notice that Animate Out automatically changes to Match. Click More Options at the bottom of the action block and check the box for Repeat Every 1000 Milliseconds. Leave Delay First State Change checked and click OK to save the action. This will make the slideshow continue to advance automatically after the first state change. And the first change will be delayed until one second after the page is loaded. Let's test this out to make sure it's working correctly. Click the Preview button at the top right of the UI to open the page in your web browser. After one second, the slideshow should begin rotating through the three slides. If you'd like to make the slideshow rotate more slowly, increase the Repeat Every X Milliseconds number in the Set Panel State action. Now let's go back to Axure RP and add some user controls to the slideshow. First, select the Page Loaded event in the Interactions pane, and press Delete to remove it. Next, we'll add a left arrow and a right arrow that users will be able to click to move through the slideshow. Use the drop-down at the top of the Libraries pane to switch to the Icons library. Then enter Arrow in the search field above. Look for an arrow style you like and drag a left one and a right one onto the canvas below the slideshow dynamic panel. Select the right-facing arrow and click New Interaction in the Interactions pane. Select the Click or Tap event in the list that appears, and then select the Set Panel State action. Select the Dynamic Panel in the Target dropdown. In the State dropdown, select Next, and check the box for Wrap from Last to First. Under Animate In, select Slide Left. Then click OK to save the action. Repeat these steps with the left-facing arrow, but this time select Previous in the State dropdown and slide right under Animate In. Preview the page to test out the arrows. Here's a tip. To make a slideshow that users can swipe on a mobile device, use the Slideshow Dynamic Panel's Swiped Left and Swiped Right events in place of the left and right arrows.
head over to docs.axure.com for more learning resources and start exploring. Thanks for watching and happy prototyping.